You've had quite a reputation for being a fairly aggressive, fairly antagonistic person. Oh, yes. Do you want to defend or support it? Uh, no, I think uh, when people that are in the public eye to a certain extent do things, then people evaluate them a certain way, you know? Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I'm not antagonistic by any means. I, I used to, uh, this band used to be in involved in a lot of fights over volume and things like that mm. uh, with people from the crowd. And it just went through a period for about, of about eight months of it being like this, you know? But uh, no, I'm not a, a aggressive or antagonistic. Um, I just, uh, I really believe that, uh, that artists get a really bad deal in this country. Uh, they, they have no say at all in what they, what they do, you know? And uh, in saying this to a lot of people, it, it's sort of, it's put an aggressive light or an antagonistic light, I think, on, on the band and myself. But... A lot of rock musicians in this country tend to get out to try and please people and just say things that they think, you know, people will get to like in that way. Yeah. You've stood out against this, you know, well, right throughout your career. Well, I sort of went through the, uh, the stardom thing about six years ago, you know. Fortunately, I've had a taste of it at quite a high degree. And sort of now, now that I'm, I'm older and... Uh, you see the same things happening again. It's very easy. Not, not. I mean, I'm not a false person, so it's very hard for me to be false on stage, you know. Mm. Whereas before, uh, uh, there was no sort of personality. I was just doing. I didn't know how to do anything, you know. I was just doing what came naturally to yeah. me, and there was no thought of, in regard to the music that I was doing. But now, there's there's a great deal of thought goes into into uh, some of the things that we do. You know? When you sort of first set out, were you consciously pushing an image with a manager saying, look, you should be, you know, when you did this sort of all the Surf City stuff? Uh, well, yeah. Well, John Harrigan was managers in those days. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he'd read the Acme book of management, you know, and thought, well, you, you guys have got to do this and learn to dance and do that. And uh, that's how it went, you know. It was like a sort of monkey's thing, you know. Uh, and, but I mean, I was only 16, 17, so it didn't matter a damn to me. I was earning a fortune. And... Well, I don't... Uh... I'm sort of involved in the rock and roll revival. I think the point that so many people seem to miss is that the rock music of the 50s and the beginning of the rock music, or the beginning, the early rock music of the 50s, was really the start of a new music culture because rock and roll is definitely a, a, a new musical culture in just about all forms of music other than classics. Mm. Even folk, country, uh, you know, pop music as a whole has been totally affected by what happened in the early 50s. Like yeah. all, it, it, all music of today, practically, is, you know, orientated in some way from, from what happened then. In, when you were in the studio the other day with us, uh, we have never had such volume in the studio. Yeah. In fact, you were making the lenses of our cameras vibrate. Oh, so yeah. we're getting these incredible sound patterns yeah. running up the picture. So it's not a bad, you know, it's not a bad picture when you see it back. Yeah. <laughs> That's not yeah, we've had this problem a few times. You know, it is a problem. It is a genuine problem because... Yeah. Uh, cause microphony in the cameras I know that you know and I, I know that that's a problem but yeah. unfortunately that's the volume I mean we're not an exceptionally loud band by world standards by this country standards we are yeah you know? sure and oh, that uh, wasn't a complaint no no I, I know I think it's just a case that maybe well then maybe the electric music has moved further ahead <coughs> than the, the media that tries to to, to, to portray it you know sure, maybe this sure. that's what's happened because yeah. uh, uh, I think, in fact, that's what it, that is what has happened. Yeah, I think possibly this is too. You know, I don't think the sort of the, the studios were designed. Most halls in the country are not designed for, for volume playing. You know, uh, um, let alone TV channels. Mm. And uh, we have enough problem in the studio, so I can imagine what is, you know the problems they have at, at Channel Two with this. You know.